in Malaysia, an 80-year-old Sichika recipient in Johor Bahru was sent to a temporary shelter by law enforcement officers for not going out to buy food during the movement restriction order. Volunteers went there to care for him and became his guarantor for returning home after the movement restriction order is relaxed. The volunteer is visiting the grandpa and asking him about his current situation at a temporary shelter. He has been staying there for two weeks. I went out to buy lunch at 11 o'clock. I didn't expect them to come to catch people at that time. I was then caught, and actually I have Zhiji's phone number, but I didn't bring it, so I could not reach out to Zhiji. Grandpa Wu Fu Chang has no children. He originally lived with his wife. Since his wife suffered from stroke and was admitted to a nursing home many years ago, he has been living in a dormitory in Johoburu. His monthly living expenses are subsidized by Qi Ji. Originally, we planned to take Grandpa out, but the officer for the welfare department told us that it is better for Grandpa to stay in the center. As he has no family, if he returns to his home, no one can take care of his safety. Because the virus hasn't been eliminated yet, if we get sick, the medical personnel need to save us. So we should put in our efforts by taking good care of ourselves. Take care of yourself, okay? Uh. Nearly a month later, the epidemic situation improved. The government relaxed the movement restriction order. Volunteers went to the temporary shelter again to take Grandpa Wu Fu Chuang home. We and Tsuji are your guarantors, so this officer asks us to take you out and take care of you. Grandpa has finally returned home, where it is a rented bed in a corner of this rented dormitory. Although it's simple, it is Grandpa's warmest home. Now I'm relieved and won't think too much. At the moment of the epidemic, the seniors are often the most vulnerable group. More attention and care are needed to ease their mind.